Doctor Who will soon be returning to our screens, with Jodie Whittaker taking over as the 13th Doctor. The casting of a female Doctor is probably the single biggest thing to happen to the show since the first regeneration, way back in 1966. So, what better time to look back at each of the Doctor's eras so far? Join me for the trip of a lifetime as I recap the very best of each era, revealing some of my favourite Doctor episodes and moments along the way. What does it mean to refer to the Eighth Doctor's era? Paul McGann's incarnation made only one on-screen appearance, and was, arguably, the incumbent Doctor up until the show returned in 2005. Yet, it could be said that the Eighth Doctor's era is still ongoing, thanks to the plethora of audio adventures that McGann continues to star in for Big Finish. It's an era that began just over 20 years ago. For one night in May 1996, Paul McGann was the Doctor. The TV movie was a co-production between the BBC and Fox, a pilot episode for a series that never quite saw the light of day. However, the impact it had on the show as it moved forward into the 21st century must not be underestimated. It was the first time the Doctor had been portrayed as a young, swashbuckling hero, or the companion as a relatable, working-class female. It introduced the idea of romance between the Doctor and his companions, of a wormhole-esque vortex in the title sequence, of an orchestral musical score and rendition of the iconic theme tune. Though the TV movie didn't quite work out, The Eighth Doctor lived on, first in original BBC novels, then officially licensed audio adventures. As a result, The Eighth Doctor has probably been more prevalent in the expanded media than any other Doctor. And, as I say, it could be argued that this era still continues to this day, since Big Finish are still making Eighth Doctor audio dramas. Across a wealth of one-off stories, seasons and box sets, we've seen companions come and go, battles against some of the show's most famous foes, and more recently, a taste of what the Eighth Doctor got up to in the Time War. I will admit that I've not actually listened to that many of the Eighth Doctor's audio stories, just a few of his early entries to the main range. If you'd like to recommend any Eighth Doctor stories to me, please do so in the comments section. And then, of course, in addition to his big finish work, in 2013, Paul McGann returned to our screens once more to give the Eighth Doctor the regeneration he deserved in Minnesota, The Night of the Doctor. So that's about it for the Eighth Doctor's era. But which of his TV and audio stories are my favourites? The TV movie. No surprise there, then. It's not quite what you'd expect from a Doctor Who adventure, but for what it is, it is an entertaining watch. There's a freaky regeneration scene, a thrilling motorbike chase, and a tense climax that sees the Doctor go head-to-head -head with the Master once more. The Chimes of Midnight. An ingenious murder mystery story where nothing is quite as it seems. This is one of the Eighth Doctor's earliest audio stories, and sees him paired with the character of Charlie Pollard, played by India Fisher. It's a classic Big Finish story, and an essential listen for any fans of this Doctor. The Night of the Doctor I must say, I do find this Minnesota a little bit overrated, though there's no doubting it was exciting to have Paul McGann back on screen as the Doctor, and it's probably his best TV outing, if we can call it that. Over the course of seven action-packed minutes, the events leading up to the Eighth Doctor's regeneration are set in motion, ending with the birth of the War Doctor. As my favourite Eighth Doctor moment, I'd probably pick his regeneration speech from the Night of the Doctor. McGann plays the role of the Doctor again with ease, putting in a dramatic performance that makes his Doctor's transformation into a warrior all the more believable. It's almost like he never stopped playing the role, though technically he never did. What do you love about the Eighth Doctor's era? Post your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to join me next week as I look back at the Ninth Doctor's era.